Hello, in this series of videos I'm going to demonstrate how to paint this uh, pair in Photoshop. Uh, this is a, one I've done a while ago, so the painting I demo is going to look completely different than this, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, this demo uses only a mouse, so everybody will be able to follow the process that I'm demonstrating here. If um, you have a tablet and a stylus use it, that's fine. But I'm going to be showing this with the mouse, and to get painterly effects with the mouse, I have to adjust the flow and the opacity of the brush, which is a little bit different. If you have a tablet, pressure sensitivity is built into it, um, so when you see me adjust flow and opacity on my brush, which I'll have to fiddle around with for a little bit, that's the reason why, because I'm uh, intentionally using a mouse, because not everyone has a tablet and stylus. Once again, if you have a tablet and stylus, uh, I, yes, by all means use it. Um, I only use the standard brushes that are loaded with Photoshop, actually the, what are called the legacy, part of the legacy brushes. You can use any brush you want, so if you downloaded a favorite brush off the internet or whatever, um, that's okay. I, you know, you can use any brushes you want to. Um, but one thing that's a little bit weird about how what I show is in this demo is that I use an unconventional method to make the basic shape. I use the selection tool. And um, if you know about clipping masks um, and different ways to you know create shapes in Photoshop, if you've done some Photoshop painting, that, that's fine. But uh, I suggest you follow my procedure as it's shown just to get a feel for it. The focus of this exercise, or this assignment, is to show you how to render form with brush strokes. So stuff like um, clipping masks, etc. I'll save that for later in the course. So this, there's a, a distinct focus for this, um, this assignment, and it's just to basically get you used to making rendering an object uh, with painterly effects with the, the basic brushes. So let us go to Photoshop. In this intro video, um, I just want to point out some stuff and we'll get started on the painting in the next video. First of all, the brush I'm using um, is this pastel medium tip. Again, you can use any brush you're comfortable with, but I'm like going for like some kind of, I want to like this to have like a painterly look to it, so I'm, I'm just using this. This uh, pastel medium tip is part of the dry media brushes in Photoshop underneath uh, legacy brushes. Um, again, you can use anything that's similar to this, and when we get to the painting, I'll, I'll talk more about that. Okay, the other thing, the only other thing to be aware of is um, make sure the swatches palette is up. So if you click on window, swatches, should, there should be a check mark next to swatches. Over yonder, on the right side, your workspace might look a little bit different, but um, your swatches palette will show up on the right. And I'm going to tear it off here and place it just so we can take a look at it. Um, again, if I loaded these legacy swatches, and the way to get to that is to hit the little three, these three parallel lines, and you can select legacy legacy swatches, and it'll it should load into your palette. Um, if you hit the drop down menu next to legacy sw blah, legacy swatches, what I'm going to use is the um, where am I here? The Pantone, the Pantone Solid Uncoated, and hopefully my mouth will start working as I continue to do these videos. Um, there's a lot of nice bright bold colors in here, and so if I'm painting a pair. I'm going to like choose some pair colors just to get started. <clears throat> this is pretty pear-like, right? All right, that's a nice bright color. I probably use for a highlight. There's a lot of like dark. Um, dark yellows and like a yellow to greenish kind of thing, so I might choose this color. Now anything I choose here shows up in the, the most recent, um, you know, the most recent uh, bar here, or whatever the heck they call it. 
<clears throat> in Adobe World. So like now these these swatches that I chose are available to me. And typically I just leave my uh, swatches palette open and floating on top here. Okay, so that is that. Um, we'll get started. I'll talk more about the, the file that you'll be using and saving the file and all that other stuff. And we'll get started in painting in the next video.